Hello, well this is a quick podcast to show you how to create podcasts that include video and audio. So already there's other podcasts on my channel here on YouTube that focus on how to create audio based podcasts using software called Audacity. Um, this will actually allow you to unite your audio or your voiceovers if you like with um, visuals such as video or images. Now from a student's perspective, if you're a student watching this, this might be a really neat way for you to just create a video. It might be something you want to do in your spare time, or it might be a neat way of doing something to present something you found out instead of, for example, doing a poster or something like that. And if you're a teacher, you've probably got all kinds of ways that you can use this, but just to give you my own way, I use this to try and cut down on the amount of didactic or standing at the front talking and chalking type teaching. Um, so I give this to my students then, create a podcast on something they've been learning about. They then can keep that for as long as they want, watch it as many times as they want, with the aim that ultimately I want my students to remember what I say. Um, so if I can actually give them out on a recorded format that they can go back to whenever they like, they're more likely to remember it. I guess there's that idea of more times that they hear it, uh, more opportunities that they can go back and ask questions about it, um, the deeper that learning will be. So without further ado, let's have a look at the software and see how we can actually create one of these podcasts. Hello, so the first thing I want to show you on Movie Maker Live, this is what it looks like. Really cool piece of software, a lot easier to use than the old Movie Maker and overcomes a lot of the criticisms that people made about it in my opinion. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to very simply insert a image and I use often images it might be a diagram I'm actually talking to or it might be an image just to start off the podcast and that's what I'm going to insert right now so I'm just going to quickly find my image and that's something I stored on my hard drive earlier on and I created this image this is just um, an image that I've actually created to start off my podcast this is my front cover if you like and I actually just created that using publisher so the next thing I want to do is actually insert a video so I'm just going to quickly go to add videos there and I'm going to actually insert the video of, of the bit that I just recorded. I've recorded my screen obviously. I'm just going to insert part one there. And I'm just going to quickly sort of test this out to show you how it's working. So if I just click the timeline bit here, it's really straightforward. If I quickly click play and it will just play through there. It's obviously giving me about sort of five or six seconds on that image. Then it will kick into what me is talking. So the first thing I want to show you on Movie Maker. All right, that's enough about that. So you can see there, I've just inc incorporated an image and a bit of video into the um, the timeline of Movie Maker. So the next thing I actually want to show you is quickly how to edit this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to edit the video because there's a bit at the beginning there that's got Camp Studio stuff on there. It's other bits of software. I don't want that there. Maybe I've coughed, made a mistake. I need to delete that and edit it out. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to position the the bar there just where I want it and I'm just going to quickly click play okay and that's when I start st talking so I'm just going to pause it there and just move it back just slightly okay and then I'm going to go to edit which is at the top of the screen just here click that and this allows me to do what we call split so I'm going to create a split there this is just my way of doing it. I'm sure there's other ways of doing this as well. I'm just going to select that clip and I'm going to press delete on my keyboard, which is going to cause that to go away. I'm going to do the same at the end of the clip as well now. Cover if you like. And I actually just created that using Publisher. So you can see this bit here is the bit that I don't need. So I'm just going to go back to there and I'm going to pause it this time when I get Cover to end. If you like. And I actually just created that using Publisher. Right, okay, again, let's quickly split select that image and delete. So there's a quick sort of way of importing images and videos and then editing the videos and we're going to move on to other sort of functions of this in a second. So now what I'd like to show you is how to actually bring some audio into this. Um, now you might want to bring a piece of music in. Um, more often than not what I actually yet find myself doing is actually bringing in a sound file that I've actually created of like a voiceover. So I use a, a software quite often called Audacity it's free to download there's another podcast or two podcasts on how to set that up and how to use it but I've just basically recorded this sound file and I've exported that as an mp3 file that I'm going to put into my movie maker project this is really straightforward to do so I've created my mp3 and I'm going to go to home just like I add videos I just move across one to add music um, here we go add music and I've just found my image it's just basically there sorry my, not my image my sound file 
quickly click intro and it pops up and you can actually see that there on the timeline there pops up now what I actually want to happen here is I want my voice to be in time with the um, with the, the with the images on the screen and I, I just want the, the the intro to actually focus on this first image that I've got right here so I want to make this image last longer currently it lasts about sort of seven seconds I actually want it to last longer so I want to first of all find out how long do I need that image to stay on the screen for while I'm talking so I just hover over intro and it tells me that that's 42.76 seconds. So I just now click the image, go to edit, just at the top of the screen there, and you see where it says duration. I'm just gonna change that from seven to 42.76, enter. Now what you can see is on the screen, it's actually stretched that out quite a bit, which is really cool. It's exactly what I wanted it to do. So now as I press play, you'll hear me talking over the image that I've got there. So I might have a diagram or whatever and I want to talk about that for a little while and I want that diagram to be on the screen as I'm talking and, and that's how to do it. So the next part of the video is me actually just showing you how to um, add a video that you might find on YouTube but actually remove the sounds on it so you can actually talk over it. So what I've actually done is I've found a video of one of my favorite animals in action and I'm going to bring it on the screen right now. I'm going to include it into my um, movie. So I'm just selecting the part I want, actually want to include that there. So I'm going to put this movie here. I'm going to go to home. I'm going to go to add videos. And there's my video I want to add in. Madagascan dancing lemur. Now it's phenomenal. This animal's cool. But basically, if I play the video normally, it comes with a load of music over the top of it, which I don't really want to be part of my podcast. Now that might often be um, you know just um, people's voices and things like that you just want to get rid of that so you can talk over it whatever it is so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that clip I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to video volume now all I need to do is to basically turn it right down okay and then if I try and play it again it will remove the sound from that clip so I've just got that image going on there and that's all good um, however if I click this clip here and press play the sound still works so I've just removed the sound from that and then if I want to talk over it I can do so that's basically how to remove the sound from a clip you've already learned how to edit clips you've learned how to change the length of images on the screen so by now you should have been able to create a reasonable podcast so the only thing you left to do is actually to export this and to actually change it to a movie file now something I didn't do that you should probably do as a, a course of habit is actually save your project so save the project as give yourself a name I'm not going to do that this time because this is not something I'm actually going to save but the more important, more important thing I think later down the track is you actually go to save movie so I'm going to quickly go to save movie and then you've got to choose settings now depending on what you're actually doing you actually want to choose different settings so often my podcasts I've gone for Windows phones oh, there's the bell at school sorry um, or I've gone for say for example 720p that means HD so the quality will be really quite good so I'm going to click click that there and I'm going to choose where I want to save it so I'm going to save it into the movie maker podcast I'm going to put um, um, movie maker final podcast is my file name I'm just going to quickly go down to save and now it's going to count down now because I've chosen quite high resolution it's going to go reasonably slow but not thin too bad and that will basically go through all the way and it will create a Windows Media um, file or a Windows Movie file I'm just going to cancel that there because I don't want that to happen on mine um, but finally basically you'll end up with a file that you can then upload onto YouTube or whatever else and if you want to change the file type to say for example MP4 um, then you basically just download a, a really simple piece of file conversion software just do a Google file conversion uh, M WMV to MP4 and that should be pretty straightforward so I hope that's podcast been useful and um, again if you've got any questions or anything please feel free to post me a message on YouTube or email or whichever other way you want to get hold of me and I look forward to hearing from you but in the meantime have a good day and as always keep it real